I'm here at AUSA 2017 talking to Dave Damien, Director, Meritor Defence. Dave, um, we're standing beside an upgraded Humvee. Correct. Could you perhaps just talk us through that, some of the, the technical modifications and, and the reason behind the project itself, please? Yeah, for sure. We, we began development on uh, looking at Humvees and, and what can be done to upgrade them, uh, bring them up to their original load carrying capacity and things like that. Things like up armoring and everything in the past has driven a Humvee to be much, carrying much more weight than it was originally intended. About six or seven years ago, the U.S. government started a program to look at upgrading the chassis systems on Humvee, and that's when we began the development of our system, which includes a complete cross-car independent suspension, frame rail chassis, all the way up to the transfer case that brings the GVW capability of a Humvee from about 12,000 pounds to 21,500 pounds. And does the U.S. Army have a formal program for this upgrade at the moment, or is it something that you anticipate in the future? Uh, no pro formal program at the moment. We are anticipating a decision coming up here soon in the next few months as to whether, whether the uh, program will move forward and what that will look like. And has this platform actually done uh, merit or testing? And, and, and if it has, could you give us a few details of some of the, the testing that's been done? Absolutely. We've, uh, we've built and tested 16 different configurations of Humvees with our upgraded system on them. Various different engines, uh, various different suspension control systems, and various different mission profiles. Uh, completed testing over 60 to 65,000 miles of testing completed on an, over those 16 trucks. And the vehicle beside us, was that actually developed for any specific requirement? And where does that fit in, in the chain of developed vehicles by Meritor? Yeah, the particular one next to us was developed for an Army mission profile, so it was loaded up to about 20,500 pounds and then tested to, the, uh, to Army requirements and uh, durability, performance, and all those kind of things. And this particular truck completed about 8,500 miles of durability testing successfully. And, and the, the, the Meritor suspension system on it, 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 is it a stock system that one would find in the Meritor product lineup? Absolutely, it belongs to the Series 30 ProTech suspension family that we, uh, we have developed. Within that family we have a Series 50, a Series 40, and a Series 30 for heavy, medium, and light tactical trucks. Obviously this is a Series 30 that applies directly to light tactical vehicles. And you mentioned Series 30 through to Series 50, so what are the, the gross vehicle weight ratings that, that that range of systems can accommodate? So usually we classify the uh, series by the gross axle weight rating and within a series 30 that goes up to about 14,500 pounds or 29,000 pound GVW truck. The series 40 is capable up to about 22,000 pounds GVW gross axle weight rating or 44,000 pounds for a full 4x4 truck and then series 50 goes anywhere all the way up to 25 to 29,000 pound gross axle weight rating and that could be a 4x4, 6x6 or even an 8x8. And in terms of suspension are, are they coils air or mixture of both or, or whatever the customer may desire? All of the above we've tested with and it uh, really just depends on what the customer would desire. We can put hydro struts in, we can put high pressure air struts or a simple coil over shock. Excellent, thank you.